go on record in State of Wisconsin versus Jesse Vang, 24 CF 162. Appearances starting in the courtroom. State appears by Jacqueline Liberation. Mr. Vang appears via Zoom without uh, in custody from the Manitowoc County Jail without an attorney, correct, sir? All right. Mr. Vang qualifies for public defender representation. They've been unable to find an attorney for him yet. The court is going to find good cause to continue to toll any applicable time limits and adjourn the matter to March 21st at 1030. Anything else for the record from the state? No, Judge. Thank you. Then we're adjourned. I'd like to suspend your honor. Oh, let's go back on the record. <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Vang, what's up? Uh, I just want to say I'd like to exercise my rights to uh, my due process, my rights to uh, attorney, my rights to uh, uh, speed trial, and uh, right, my rights to a fair trial. Okay. Well, uh, I can't give you legal advice. Um, I can tell you that uh, you've applied for public defender representation. They're searching for an attorney for you, so. Uh, that certainly uh, is in motion as far as your right to an attorney goes. As far as how to exercise uh, your right to a speedy trial, um, that needs to be put in writing and sent to the court. And then once you do, we'll, uh, if you do that before uh, the next hearing, we'll take that up. Uh, and that certainly may <coughs> change things, but um, you've got to do that in writing. Okay, sir? Yeah. All right. Anything else, Mr. Bain? Um, no, that's it. All right. Then we're adjourned. We'll go on the record in State of Wisconsin versus Katrina Bauer, 24 CF 163. Appearances starting in the courtroom. State appears by Jacqueline Labrie. And on Zoom. Katrina Bauer appears uh, by Zoom from the Manitowoc County Jail with her attorney Ann Larson also present by Zoom from the Manitowoc County Jail. Uh, matters on the calendar for preliminary hearing today. Uh, I was advised uh, before coming on the record that uh, Ms. Bauer is going to be waiving her right to a preliminary hearing as well as withdrawing her previously filed motion to dismiss count one. Uh, is that correct, Attorney Larson? It is, Your Honor. I will e file the signed form. All right, and were there any inducements for the waiver? No, we're not. Okay, Ms. Bauer, do you understand that because you're charged with a felony, you have the right to have a preliminary hearing today? Yes. And at that hearing, uh, the state would have to offer evidence sufficient to show a probable cause that a felony was committed and probable cause that you committed it. Yes. Do you understand that by waiving that right, you're relieving the state of having to make those proofs? Yes. Can you speak out, ma'am? I can't hear you. Yes. Okay. Um, has anyone threatened you in any way or promised you anything to get you to waive your right to a preliminary hearing? No. You're doing so freely, voluntarily, and intelligently? Attorney Larson, have you had enough time to discuss your client's right to a preliminary hearing with her? I have. Do you believe that her waiver today is freely, voluntarily, and intelligently made? I do. The court will so find, and based on my review of the amended complaint, find there is a sufficient factual basis to believe there's probable cause that a felony was committed and probable cause that she committed it. I will bind her over for further proceedings. Is it? The state's intention to file an information with charges that mirror those in the amended complaint? Judge, we're asking for an arraignment date, please. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, any chance the... Any chance the parties it is Tuesday too soon? Yes. Can we have a little more time, Judge? Yeah. Judge, I would just note that Ms. Bauer is on a fifteen thousand dollar cash bond. Yep. Um, the twenty fifth. I'm gone that week. Can somebody else come down for an arraignment? I mean, otherwise. I don't have a whole lot of I don't have a whole lot of holes in the calendar, and she's right in the sense that um, her client's sitting on cash bail. And we're talking about an arraignment. Do you have anything on the twenty second Four o'clock. I can do that.
Attorney Larson, can you do 4 o'clock on uh, March 22nd? I can. Okay. Uh, we'll set the arraignment then for 4 o'clock on March 22nd. Uh, anything else? For, well, uh, and Ms. Bauer, for the sake of the record, you're withdrawing your motion to uh, dismiss count one that had previously been filed, correct? Okay, yes. All right. Um, did anyone threaten you in any way or promise you anything to get you to withdraw that motion? No. You're doing so freely, voluntarily, and intelligently? Yes. All right. The court will uh, accept the withdrawal of the previously filed motion. Uh, Attorney Larson, uh, for the sake of the file, do you mind sending over, a, um, I guess, an order withdrawing the motion for the court's signature? I will. Great. Anything else for the record from the state? No, I don't think Attorney Larson? Thank you. Then we're adjourned.